Hey, what is up guys? So you have the Samsung Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, or the S20 Ultra. I'm gonna show you how to wirelessly screen mirror to your Samsung Bravia Smart TV. Very, very simple. Now the first thing to take note that when we connect wirelessly, it's a Wi-Fi direct connection, okay? It's not, has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network, okay? But the thing is, we still have to turn on Wi-Fi, okay? So let me go ahead and log into my S20 here. So the first thing is this. What we need to do is slide down. Now you, you just need to go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi, okay? You don't necessarily have to be connected to a uh, home Wi-Fi network unless you wanna be able to surf the internet, okay? But the thing is, even if you're not connected to an actual home Wi-Fi network, as long as you have um, your SIM card in here, you can use mobile data to surf the internet, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. So I have my Wi-Fi on here, and now we gotta do is simply grab your phone, slide down the notification, and then the little horizontal line right here, you wanna slide down one more time, and then what we're looking for is Smart View, okay? And smart View is down here. If it's not on this page here, you might wanna swipe over to the right and look for Smart View. Anyways, mine's on the first one right here. It says Smart View, so I'm going to tap on that, and hopefully it finds my Samsung TV, and it does right there, my Samsung Series 7. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that right there, and then I'm going to go ahead and press start now down here. And then we'll see what happens here. Okay, now this is like the third time I connected to my TV, but the first time you connect to your TV, you get like a little a message up there saying uh, your Samsung Galaxy S20 wants to connect to this TV. What you have to do is go ahead and grab your, um, your remote control and select OK to allow it, okay? Anyways, we can see right now it's completely wireless and we are screen mirroring here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's open up a browser here. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go ahead and turn this over to landscape mode. Let me focus in on there and you can see we can go ahead and browse the internet. We can do um, FaceTime. We can do Skype with video chat so everybody can see on the big screen. If you have uh, photos and videos that you want to relay to the big screen to show your friends and family, we can go right to my gallery here. And let's, let me show you a photo and a video here. Let's, let's do a photo right here. And of course we can go ahead and, you can see we can go ahead and zoom in. And let's go ahead and play, uh, let's find a video. Here's a video here. Let's play this video right here. Check one, two, three. Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the volume, the audio and everything comes out from the TV, not from the phone, but we can also control the volume from the TV directly from our phone. And of course, you know, you can watch uh, YouTube videos on here. You can go ahead and watch uh, Netflix, everything onto the uh, big screen here as well. Okay, so pretty simple to do. If you guys have any issues or anything, uh, just comment below. Oh yeah, and if you guys want to disconnect, what you can do is just go ahead and just slide, or you have this little floating icon right here. You can tap on this right here, and then you can go ahead and uh, disconnect here. You can change the phone aspect ratio, or another way to go ahead and um, log off, just slide down the notifications again, and then uh, you can uh, slide down again. And then before it says Smart View, now it's gonna be the name of your TV. So if I just tap on that, it's gonna go ahead and disconnect me. So pretty simple. Any questions, just comment below.